All right, just want to make a quick video on these Audi brand clippers that um, they have in the sale on um, this weekend um, here in Europe. I'm in Germany, so uh, my other hair clippers then broke. I had some Remingtons, and uh, it's a spring in the inside that broke on them. I'll show that a little bit later, but for now, I just wanted to review them to see if they worth it for 1974. So we're going to get them opened up, and um, we'll test them out and see if they work well. Or if it's a poor investment, but um, I mean, for that's uh, equivalent to about 24 US dollars, so 24 bucks for some wireless clippers. We'll check them out a little bit more here in a minute. All right, so let's take a look at what was in the box. You, you get this bag here with all the attachments, this your uh, charging stand, you get your power cord. It's an EU one, but you could still use an adapter to make it a US uh, connection. But I would recommend getting a wall converter um, if you did want to use this in the US or whatever. They work better with the actual wall converter. Um, you get a bag of like attachments. Yeah, we'll get those open. I'll show those in a little bit. Comb. Um, they look like, yeah, clipper guards. You know, you put those on there when you finish cleaning them up and stuff. A few manuals. And then you get the clippers. Let's see if they got any charge to them when you first get them. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> Digital dash, 100% charged, 2.8. Oh, so I tell you the, the measurements when, you, when you're changing it. So you got 0 0.8. It's a little hard to work the control on that, but 1.5, 2.2, 2 2.8. 100% charged out of the pack. Wow, them things got some good <laughs> vibration to them all. I'd also like to point out, if you notice on the clipper guards, uh, the way that these are designed is so that they don't cut you. All right, so you can pretty much cut or trim your face or your hair. You know, I use it for my hair and my beard, um, but it, it, they can't cut you, so you won't get cuts or anything using these, which is really sweet about uh, these gray clippers. All right, so. All right, I'm going to get the bag opened up and we'll see what kind of guards in there and what else is in the bag. So we got that knot out the bag and these are the guards. This is really what it come with, some, some extra guards. Um, large. Well, let's see if it got measurements. You have 30 millimeters. You got 24 millimeters. four to six millimeters, 10 to 12 uh, millimeters, 18 millimeters, seven through nine millimeters, and that's it. And I'm guessing that's based off uh, the level in which you set the clippers will make the difference between the 10s and 12 and you know, so on, so on. It also came with the oil, you know, so you can um, oil your clippers and a cleaning utensil as well and that's pretty much everything you get in the bag and that's for uh, the equivalent of 24 american dollars which is it's actually a really good deal I look it even tell you that it need oil you see that <laughs> wow hey these these pretty pretty cool yeah yeah i just wanted to show um you know show y'all some of the stuff that you can get from all these here in Germany, and they may even have this sale at the Audis in the U.S. I have seen them picking up some of the sales, so if you was interested in grabbing these clippers, here's a first look before they arrive there, and you might want to keep your eye out for them. I'm going to test them out, and I'll let you know how well they work here shortly. I just wanted to let you know you might need another bottle of oil sooner than later. You know, they say they want you to oil them before and after use, uh, but that's the amount that you get. Alright, so, um, 
Got them all in the bag now, though, too. So that's what it looked like in the bag. But remember, you're probably going to need more of that. Also, as a little comparison, I just wanted to show the Remington Clippers. You know, these are now broken, but um, you can see the amount of power these got. And this is what they look like. No digital dash or nothing crazy. But these Remingtons run 80, 80 euro, which is about the equivalent of, um, let's see, 80 euro, almost 100 American dollars. All right, and they, they broke where it's a spring on the inside. Um, here that you can see I, what I did to fix it temporarily until I managed to get some new clippers was repair that with a paper clip alright I'll show a little bit about that later in case other people got these clippers and they, they springs break on the inside um, but that's how I have been using them for now and then I came across these so that's why I'm upgrading the Remingtons was not that not that great for me um, when they was new they was working well and over time they just you know started to get back um so now we're gonna try this one out all right so i just wanted to show you know what the comparison um of where my review coming from so i'm comparing them to a way higher brand way more recognized so all right okay so in closing um the clippers work really well uh way better than i anticipated for twenty dollars uh, they actually was better than the Remingtons, believe it or not. All right, so they, they are better than the Remingtons, which says a lot about uh, the quality, the build, um, even how close it can cut. Because I cut all my hair basically completely off, like kind of bald, um, at the 0 0.8 setting. And I was able to cut myself, um, what, one time, two times on one year. <laughs> and I'm only pointing that out because I said they couldn't cut you. And... The Remingtons I had for about f three or four years and uh, never got cut by those one time. I had these for one time and got cut twice. So these do get a little closer. All right. The, and they cut, but I like that. I'm glad that they do. Um, even though they was both 0 0.8, these do seem to cut a little lower, uh, closer to the grain than uh, the Remingtons did. Another cool thing that I discovered in the process was I was wondering if uh, you know what I can do with these now that my Remington was broken and it turns out that this this piece You know the actual clipper actually works for the Remington as well So where my Remington was broken, you know as you can see uh, Like I had explained earlier. I repaired it with a paper clip um, You know until I got another pair of clippers. I had to finish the cut it broke halfway through my haircut So I just went ahead and repaired it with a, a paper clip like how you see there um, but if you do buy them for 20 you get the replacements as well. Check that out Which is pretty sweet see that how easily right on there ain't that cool And so you end up with a uh, even a replacement part for the Remington if you did want to uh, Use the Remington, but I advise against it. Uh, these are really good um, another thing I like to point out uh, battery life the battery life uh, was way, way better, um, way better on the Aldi brand, which is surprising again, but you see I still got 50% left, and, uh, usually I will be out of, well, 40%, <laughs> just 40, you know, go by tens, and where I would have been using my Remingtons, I would have been, on, I would have been empty, you know, I always end up needing to plug them in to finish my cut, um, so these cut a little faster, because they cut closer to the grain. The battery life is better. They, I could have bought four pair of these for what I paid for one of these, okay? This is the better buy. At $20, if this come to American Aldi and you want to cut your hair, do not miss these clippers. They are extremely good <laughs> at that price point, all right? Um, so, yeah, that pretty much wrap up the review of the... $20 Aldi hair clippers versus the $80 Remington clippers, um, which are broken and repairable by the $20 clippers, which the part cost about 10 or 15 bucks by itself. Okay, so definitely a good buy. All right, so if you was looking into it, thumbs up. And if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful, drop the like, the subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next one.